Ah, oh, yeah, final preparation for Tour of Switzerland. For those that don't know by now, I'm up in the mountains of Andorra. Yeah, I'm a resident over here. It might be a bit too hilly for me over here, but hey, I always say it can be worse. One of the best things about training in Andorra are the endless mountains to climb, the benefits of altitude, the endless amount of fountains to fill your bottles in case you dehydrate, and the amount of respect the cars have for all cyclists on the road. But before I jump the gun, with hard training comes responsibility. Eating healthy, recovering well, and most importantly of all, not getting sick. Monday has been great in keeping me on track. Extra bottles. Could probably show it in the mirror as well. And the washing bag is just extra warm clothes for the man on the bike. Tea and enough warm clothes for me. It has been super chilly in Andorra lately. And taking enough clothes to stay warm on the descent over each climb is immensely important. Yes, is a hailstorm hitting me here. Yeah, I was hoping to miss this hailstorm, but it seems like I won't, so might as well just flog you. Hey. Okay, gonna go However, ahead. you can't rest too warm as it will only create a lot of sweat, making you soaking wet on the climbs and putting you at risk of falling ill. Switzerland is extremely hilly this year, so I was aiming to at least get in 4,000 meters of climbing per day with some solid intervals. But not only was that a focus, but also to do descents at some decent speed so I can get back into the rhythm of taking the hairpin corners on the limit. Sometimes in unknown races I like using the maps on my wow to see how sharp the corners are that are hey, coming up. Good morning everyone, um, big day coming up, probably about 45,000 meters of climbing. I'm quickly creating a Strava route here and uh, yeah, so I can send the route to Monday and we'll be on the road. It's 10 days to go to Tour of Switzerland, a good few hard days ahead but it will be pushing hard. Take note, sometimes you need to get used to it as it takes some multitasking, switching focus from the unit on your bike back onto the road continuously. As soon as I get to the bottom of the descent, it's all warm jackets out and straight onto the next climb. No time for fooling around as I need to keep my aerobic system running, otherwise I'll lose the benefit of the endurance ride. Hi Miss Scott. I'm a leaf lung. Like a work in eh? Well, there are exceptions. I had backup and was able to rapidly sip up my coffee within 30 seconds while dressing up warm on top of colder Besalis. The climb everyone calls Porito's climb in Andorra because for its steepness and how well he always went on it. Or for that matter, how well he went on any steep climb. Besalis is steep. Okay, going down colder Besalis. This is quite a dangerous climb, so check it out. I then descended once again and by now only Col de la Rabasa and Col de Galina was left. On our way, on our way there, money got lost and I was left to do all the suffering on my own up the 17 km horse categorized
I smashed a set of 4x4s up there which made the climb feel much shorter. Doing intervals close to the end of your ride has its benefits, but not something I will dwell on on this vlog. As I arrived at the top of La Rabasa, it was freezing as expected. Okay, finally at the top of Torre La Rabasa, and then we go the Galina to go. It's over there, I'll show you now. Way over there. Probably another hour and a half to go. I didn't waste much time before eating the decent and stopped at one of the fountains to rehydrate as I thought Monday left me for dead. After yet another freezing descent, I soon hit the foot of La Galina. To my surprise, seconds later Monday appeared like a gift from heaven. We argued for what felt like an hour, but in reality was less than a minute. We soon saw the irony in it, with my usual line going like this. How could you not have known which side of the mountain I was going up? I even sent you maps, darling. Ha ha ha. If you're asking why I didn't just send her a location, it's because she has my Andorran sim. I can help myself around Andorra without a phone, but she... Hmm... Anyways, she fell behind on the descent of Besalis and then ended up going up the wrong side of La Rabasa and when she got to the top she thought I had already gone down again. She was even sweet enough to contact one of my best mates whom has been in Andorra for training before and asked if he might know where I might be and how she could navigate. Oh how I love you my girl. The hard work didn't end there. I focused on refueling not to cause too much oxidative stress and muscle damage. Monday's rice cake saved me, but by now, like my friends would say, I had pup and flace for legs. In direct translation, meaning porridge and meat for legs. You're probably thinking, what the fuck does that mean? The closest synonym is the one we all know. My legs felt like jelly. But nonetheless, I rode a good tempo up Galina for the last hour at 310 watts for what has yet been another incredible journey on the bike. The drama didn't end there. 300 meters from the top, Mandy stopped to take some pictures as I rode by to the top. As I got to the top, something told me wait for her and not to take the descent immediately. After a minute, I turned back just to find out the car had broken down. Imagine if I have taken the 10k descent, which was probably averaged about 8%. We called the insurance company to come tow us. We laughed thinking how on earth were they going to tow us down La Galina as we sat in the car while it was freezing outside while the windows were fogging up on the inside. We tried our luck one more time and somehow the car started and with, freely, and with freezing bodies we departed back home. I am very smart and once again I hope I didn't waste your time. Because I broke the car. She broke the car. <laughs> and then when we called the insurance, the car started working again. <laughs> so now we're on our way and it's freezing. But anyway, good four and a half thousand meters of climbing and and we're on our way. What you drinking?
By the way, it's 10 o'clock, so we're gonna cut out. Cheers.